Right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the day of the MMA 1000 Days Challenge. This day is MMA 9, so let's get things started. Alright, so first and foremost, balance and equity remain the same. There's no change in terms of balance in terms of that. Other than that, if you look in terms of uh, market structure update itself or Bitcoin itself, we did close with a read, very small spinning top candlestick, but that is very understandable considering the fact that it's on the weekly uh, weekend itself. And in addition to that, uh, volumes that definitely teen itself, we definitely could swing towards upside or downside today itself. I wouldn't be entirely convinced in going to swing upside. Neither do we swing downside unless volume follows suit. Well, of course, you can say yesterday volume was extremely low. So it's very clear that there's EDG in the market itself along with the weekend kind of uh, effect taking upon it. So we could definitely much swing towards the low the potential situation as well. So let's see how things go. But other than that, what I do have to say in mind, we are definitely near the key resistance. So I'm definitely leading to a bit more bearish side. So you can see on the weekly chart, we are below the 200 simple moving average, which historically we didn't close for a standard week below it, but this time we did really close one week below it and then we went up. And prior to that, from my understanding, we actually we be highly supportive over this region itself. But you can also see the fact for the fact that uh, it was, yeah, also prior to it, we also reverse taking closely to it, but that is more like a 2 exponential moving average on the weekly chart. But yeah. But that being said, we're definitely sticking very close. It would be a very good sign that we could have something like this, and then we actually move towards the upside. But if that doesn't happen, uh, then definitely we we'll still see a much stronger further bearish downside. But this time we really have some distance away from below from 200 simple moving average on the big chart. In my opinion, it's actually a very healthy sign simply because of the fact that no support or no dynamic moving average to hold support indefinitely, simply because of the fact that there is how moving averages works by the statistical or by the way the way moving averages are being formed in that sense. So I do definitely expect it to break. The question is, if this time would be a good time, it could be, but that doesn't mean that next time if it does want to support, it wouldn't happen as well. All right, but other than that, I'm definitely leaning in terms of short-term bearish bias in terms of the daily and shorter term frame. But bearing in mind, we could also consolidate over here and actually continue towards the upside without a doubt. So the four hour chart, what I do see potentially over here is we definitely need to cross negative bearish easy over here. So let's see how things goes. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't be looking for short. So maybe let's open up the volume view thing. That's where you can see there's could be a potential short setup over here, whereby this rejection of the higher band itself, but we're potentially seeing support over here itself. So if I'm looking for short setup, what I would do is I'm actually entering the world right now over here. Stop loss will be right above the swing high over here. My target profit will be somewhere uh, here at the very minimum itself. Yeah, one is the one point five will be the bank minimum. So I'm looking for potential retest at this nineteen point seven k region itself. So yeah, probably after this, uh, after this video recording itself, we'll be looking to enter a shot for Bitcoin itself, at least for the main trading account setup, simply because it does fulfill my criteria. We actually need a key area of resistance itself. That's not to say we cannot go up again. If we actually just go up, face a strong rejection, I'll be looking for another shot. Otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.